It's an extraordinary scene to see so many boats assemble here on Ao Nang Bay, a launching point to the many stunning islands of Krabi mainland. Today is a significant day for local boaters and fishermen. As many as 406 of the local boats called Rua Hua Tong have come to take part in a ceremony to get their boats blessed and also to pay respect to the spirit of the boats. These iconic boats with pointed bows are used for fishing and taking passengers to islands. During the annual Krabby Andaman Festival, these boats get blessed and receive new scarves to announce their readiness to offer safe services to tourists. They are looking forward to a good tourist season. He said these types of boats, but smaller, used to be used for fishing. With the growth of tourism, the local fishing community turned to transporting tourists to outlying islands. The majority of these long-tail boats are now registered as tourist or passenger boats. This is now the second year that the boat ceremony has taken place and participation has increased significantly. The sea and superstition play a huge role in these people's lives. After an Islamic ceremony was performed, the governor of Krabi, Prasid Osatanon, led senior officials and public figures to tie the scarves and initiate the journey to the Pranang Cave, where another ritual ceremony is awaiting. Flowers and fruit trays were brought along as offerings to Pranang, the princess goddess who is believed to reside in the cave underneath the cliff at the end of the beach. While treated as a sacred place by local fishermen, boaters and residents, Pranang Cave is also an ideal location for rock climbing and sunbathing. During the ceremony, participants, locals and tourists are invited to make a vow not to litter the waters or the beach so that all may enjoy it. One of the main organizers, Chairman of Krabi Chamber of Commerce, Puvadid Brichanon, stressed that the ceremony reinforced a key concept of Krabi, that of sustainable tourism. Actually, our, our uh, position of the Krabi is uh, it's a quality city, it's a sustainable city, and we try to keep nature as clean as possible. Right. And uh, we expect uh, tourists that uh, come to Kibi that uh, we love, uh, we feel we love with our nature. Uh. Yeah. On this beach is the exclusively located Raya Vadi Resort, which enjoys a beautiful beach complete with stunning cliff views. Virasak Sibunrung, the general manager of the resort, insists that even though Krabi is admittedly a new destination in the global tourist industry, its natural beauty will attract travelers to the destination. Another major selling point is the countless excursions available to surrounding islands. What sort of activities do you think would drive the tourists to Krabi? Uh, you've got a beautiful beach here. Uh, what else? Well, I think one of our main point is the excursion to the island. Ah, yes. And this year we, we used the, our main Plaruong, which is the junk boat, to go to PP Island. Okay. So that's a, a quite a, a, a trip. And a lot of people use that as a, a good for sunset cruise. And I think it's, a, it's going to be our sales point this okay. year. Well, um Located on the Andaman Sea in southern Thailand, Krabi is home to several stunning islands, limestone cliffs, and caves. There is an abundance of marine tourism activities available to visitors. They include excursions to islands, snorkeling and canoeing, or just swimming and sunbathing on Krabi's many tranquil beaches. This reliance on water activities is why local people place water safety and the blessing ceremony as one of the main activities at the beginning of the festive season each year.